We're living our best lives here in the fab lane with Darren Fabikun, a young fashion Nigerian designer who is doing big things and taking the industry by storm. Her fabulous artsy designs have some of the biggest names in Nigeria slaying the red carpet and the everyday woman feeling like a star. And if you ask me, that is the biggest compliment you can give a fashion designer. I'm Sika Ose and welcome to Fashion Insider. Hi, Darren. Hello. Welcome to Fashion Insider. Thank you. At 19, when other people are turning up, having <laughs> fun, living their best life, you decided to start a business. Walk me through the process of a 19-year-old who is not worried about what's going on with all their friends, but is focused on starting a business. Were you scared? Were you anxious? Were you excited? What were you anticipating? Um, actually, it started... It, came from a place of confusion wow. at first and then yeah, being 19 and not knowing the career I wanted to go at first because I was, every Nigerian parent would pressurize you into, oh, are you sure you don't want to do this? Are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure this is the part you want to go? So when I've scaled through that parent's bit, mm -hmm. I eventually had to go through the whole um, being scared. Oh, okay, what if people don't like what I have to offer? Oh my God. Um, how am I going to pay salaries? Oh my God, I'm so young. I'm like people, they're supposed to pay me instead. Yeah. And then, yeah. So it was when I got to that realization, that point of you have to make this work. You don't have anywhere you're going back to because so many people are looking to you to go back to something. And that was when I put in my 100%. 100%. I knew for certain that I did not want to work for anyone. So I, I didn't even, like from the beginning, it was just, pretty much like you don't have anything else to do. So this is what you want to do. Yes. At 19, I don't know many 19 year olds were thinking like that. So tell me when you first started, what were the challenges that you faced? What was it that, like the first year that you started Fab Lane? Um, One of the first challenges that I faced was staffing mm. in the sense that you, it's, it's almost difficult to find people that are loyal in this business and also people that can interpret your designs you know starting up i learned on the job mm. so it was not a situation where i went to like fashion school to be honest my staff my first the first staff i ever knew i ever had did not know that i was actually learning from her and then i would tell her oh you have to do this you can't just cut it straight and she was looking at me like a boss wow but every day after she left i would actually practice what she had done. Got you. Yeah, so, so she that, didn't know that you were teaching, she, she was teaching you and you were teaching her. She did her. not know at all. Like, it wasn't until I was good enough and then I told her. That is, you know, I think somebody's going to listen to that to that and think, oh, I can just go on Google and, and YouTube and learn mm -hmm. how to be a designer. I mean, I don't think that's like the only <laughs> thing you need to learn. Do you think at this point you would, have you gone back to school to learn? Um, or are you going yeah, back to school to learn? Yeah, I'm going back to school to learn. There are different aspects. Just, there's so many things that we, we can learn on the job. There's so many things that we actually need a professional to teach us as well. Yeah. And from learning doesn't necessarily mean we have to go abroad. We could, there's so many of them that have come into Nigeria now. A lot of them study, a lot of people study fashion, but they decided to go into different aspects. Not everyone is actually tailoring. Not everyone is actually so many pattern drafters, so many pattern makers, mm -hmm. and they're, we, they're willing to teach you. So what I have done over years is have people come in and teach me personally. So like, okay, I want to learn this. I want to learn that because I can't just up my business up and leave right now. Yeah. So I actually bring them in yeah. and then we practice everything that we want to practice. So I have done that over the years. Got you. Yeah. And you've obviously been able to build your repertoire yeah, and your experience and your exactly. knowledge, which is really great. What did you say was your focus when you wanted to set Fab Lane by Darren apart from every other fashion house in Nigeria? Because there is a lot. <laughs> I, I know, right? My main focus for me was just to make women look beautiful mm -hmm. and feel comfortable. Yeah. And also, it's also the part that we're still very affordable as, as much as what well, people, the perception they have on the outside, being that we've styled a lot of celebrities and they just assume that we're a bit pricey. So then that's when we decided to create our diffusion, our ready-to-wear line, which is extremely, extremely affordable 
and amazing pieces that you can pick up. So that is either if you don't want to fall under the range of Fab Lane, which is um, you might tag a little pricing now. Okay. There is Bloom by FBD, which is very affordable and friendly to everyone. Can I ask how affordable it is? Affordable in the sense that you could pick up an Alfie for 12000 Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really, really good. Yes, when you are. started at 19, who were your fashion inspirations? Um, I was a huge, huge fan of Lyra da Silva and Diela Sego. Diela Sego was one of my... She is the queen. Yeah, she is the queen. She is absolutely the queen. And I love Lyra da Silva as well. Tell us about your style aesthetic. You know, sometimes when I see an outfit, I know it's from you. Automatically. Mm -hmm. Where do you, do you come up with that style aesthetic? Because it's very, very unique. To be honest, I may have just seen something and a lot of a lot of times what I do is I take a design mm. and I try to tweak it as many ways that I can. Yeah. So I may have designed a dress in 2016 and I'm like, oh, this dress, 2017, oh, this dress can't go out of style. Yeah. So we have to do something else to keep the to keep something in it, but make it different from what, what it they was. have seen in 2016. Yeah. So you will still be see a little bit of an element in of a 2016 design in like a 2017, but then you, you wouldn't be able to place it. Okay. So a lot of times I restructure and restructure and restructure okay. over again. Okay. So your thing is classic. Exactly. Staying true no matter, because you're not about trends. No, I'm not. I'm not at all about trends. I feel like it's okay to start a trend. Is it? Do you have a new line coming up? Um, so because of we, we, we have a new location now mm -hmm. and we're walking towards our launch and probably a, an Easter sales. Mm -hmm. So I am going to be introducing our Asho K line oh, after wow. that. So yes, that is quite interesting. I'm excited that is for that. It's completely different from what you've done in the past. Exactly. Why? So that's another thing. Why are you venturing? <laughs> <laughs> um, because the bridal um, aspect of fashion is booming. Mm. And at the same time, a lot of people want to look glam. And it, it has gone past the regular um, Ashoke that we used to wear in the past. So mm. many people are becoming fabulous in their Ashoke. They, want, they don't want to just have the regular. A lot of people want like, Busty, different, yeah. different vibes, yeah. and I'm like, okay, you know what? You can actually give to these people something nice as well and affordable. So why not venture? So I want to try and okay. see. So yes, that's what I'm working on alongside the launch. Got yeah. you. Is that gonna go into like more bridal, like? Yeah. So that's gonna that's wear? gonna that's gonna be strictly bridal. Okay. Strictly, except for people that are edgy and they don't mind. Yeah, you know, we have some edgy people who don't mind a showcase as their yes. probably red carpet look or their wedding look. What do you think at this point, after 10 years of being in business, has been your biggest strength and your biggest biggest weakness in business? Um, my biggest strength has been, is the fact that I absolutely love what I do. Yeah. And the fact that I am extremely passionate. I'm not money driven in this business. The one thing for me, core thing for me in this business is integrity. Mm. I've tried my best to stick with what I love and what I know. Mm. So I do not, I'm strict on no replication of Nigerian designers. We have to, everything and almost everything that comes out of here mm. is an original. And original. Yeah, so I have, that has been mm. my goal since I started, even from when I didn't particularly have direction. Okay. Yeah, so that has kept me. If you criticize my work in like the most obstructive way, okay. I would listen. Mm. What would you say are three characteristics that any fashion designer that wants to be successful should have? I would say you have to be very passionate about mm. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, don't be money driven. Mm. Let your passion drive you. Yeah. You have to have integrity in this business because yeah. you don't want to, you want, we all want to produce or we don't want to be regarded as just a tailor because if all you do is take up off of someone's creative intellect, that doesn't make you a designer, that makes you a tailor. 
So you have to have integrity in the sense that you can, you can pick up of someone, mm -hmm. but try your best to make it your design yeah. eventually. And then the third one is just let your mind literally like be at peace with yourself. Open yes, to learning. Be open to learning. Okay. What would you tell 19 year old Darren when she was starting off this business? <laughs> Confused, unfocused, just knew she wanted to do it. What would you tell her or any other 19 year old Darren that's watching right now? I would tell her what I would actually Or him. Or him. <laughs> to a 19 year old out there that wants to go into fashion and feels like, oh, it has to be like right now. There are different aspects, there are stages and there are steps that you can take alongside while you start your business. You should also learn the business aspect of it, which is structuring, money management, taking care of staff, and all of that. Got you. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Now, can I uh, like ask you one more question before we go? Yes, yeah, sure. You have slayed some of the red carpets, well, a lot of the red carpets in Nigeria with, you know, your beautiful muses and other celebrities. What would you say are your three top red carpet dresses that you made that you absolutely, like you loved and they're unforgettable to you? Um, I would say 2018 AMVC for Ini Dimakoje. Okay. I particularly love that outfit. That was beautiful, the gold. Yeah, the black and gold, oh, and yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I also like the outfit I made for, I loved the outfit I made for Omotola for her movie premiere. I don't, I think that was in 2017. Was I'm it the red sure. one? Yes. Ooh. Because I had, a, I had a theme to follow. Her movie was The Alter Ego, and she was a lawyer, and then she had like a slutty side. So we had to infuse both characters in so the sexy, outfit. So sexy, slutty, yeah, and so sophisticated. The outfit it. literally had like, it was two sides yeah. to the outfit. Oh, nice. and so yeah, that really, I was really happy about that. And of course the outfit. Yo, of course. Of course. Best girl. dress, girl. Best girl, dress. Best dress everywhere. I'm like, yeah. And I'm sure you're going to have so many more moments like okay, that. Um, I'm excited, actually. Your future is bright, Darren. Thank Super you bright. so much. So thank you thank so much you. for being here. Thank you. Well, I don't know about you, but my takeaway from this beautiful conversation is study, study, read. Knowledge is power. If you're young and you want to start a business, it's not too early. You will be afraid. There is fear. But beyond that fear is greatness. And you could be the next person sitting right here on this seat. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Until then, this has been Fashion Insider, and I have been Sika Ose. See you later.